One of the, the state of West Virginia's most treasured assets is the forests. At EQT, when we were looking at opportunities, our main goal was to improve the health of the forest, but the benefit of that was the carbon sequestration. So we worked and identified uh, partners, obviously with the state, between the Division of Natural Resources, Division of Forestry, uh, West Virginia University to be our validator. Summit Forestry had to look at the forest and identify what practices would actually benefit that specific forest in concert with them growing seasons landscaping, looked at and said, okay, here's what we can actually do that will help improve this forest. Then they worked closely with WVU to model out what they thought the benefit of that would be. Most of the carbon in a forest is tied up in the soil. And so we're looking at vegetation responses to some of these treatments. We're using some sensors that we can collect real-time data and how much is going up, how much CO2 is going down. Many of the areas particularly had invasive species management. That carried throughout a lot of the areas. Non-natives, what they do is they take the place of native vegetation. You know, they, they don't have very much benefit. For lack of a better term, it chokes out the native vegetation that can come back. By eliminating a lot of these invasives, we're adding nutrients to the soil from their decomposition, and um, that's going right back into our overstory, more desirable species. We have done a lot of brush management, which is the control of our invasives. We've done afforestation on sites that did not have trees before. That materialized into over 90 crews that were deployed throughout the state throughout the year. That equated to over 100,000 man hours. To date, since we started this project, we have now treated over 45,000 acres, and I just find that amazing. Well, it's really impressive. We wouldn't have been able to treat that many acres without the partnership with EQT. When you see what's being done across the landscape, the work that's being done, the support that's being provided not only to us but to our students, you just can't help but get excited about it. The fact that we have been able to become the first traditional energy provider to be scope one, scope two, net zero, I don't think this project could have worked out any better. I think it's been an amazing partnership and that has really helped us live our mission.